We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. When communications broke down, the trains stopped and the internet went dark, we survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? Incoming alert on the SHD emergency channel. Flash, priority. The base of operations is under attack. Hostile forces have breached our southern perimeter. We are in need of immediate assistance. Repeat, need immediate assistance from any nearby agents. agent heading north toward the White House. Looks like they've cut down a group of hyenas and are headed this way. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards.
Get that fire out! Thanks for the help out there. You should check in with Manny, our coordinator, upstairs in the blue room. And come by here if you ever need help with your tech. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comms. I'm guessing the Division Alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division Network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in D.C. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, Agent, head downstairs and check in with the Quartermaster. He can get you set up with some division tech. You're gonna need the edge. Hey there. Looking good, Agent. Agent requesting backup. Oh, hey. Hey, you. Damn mice get into everything.
Hello? Here you go. That's here in the city. The theater settlement is off the east. You probably run into some trouble along the way. You'll have to do this block by block, but I'm sure you'll be fine. will be reinstated from tomorrow and distributed daily between 1800 and 2000 hours. Over here, you hear me? I've got the biggest inventory in DC. Check the again. Nice doing business with you. The neighborhoods you'll be moving through are hyena territory. They're a bunch of vicious assholes who prey on the weak and vulnerable and kill for kicks. And they destroy whatever they can't steal for themselves. And they've been an especially serious problem for the theater settlement. Given the situation, we need the help of the settlements. But they can't do much if they're struggling to survive. So see what you can do to take some pressure off them. But don't forget that we have to get the Shade Network back to full strength. In a lot of places, the Division has been the only thing holding people together. But when DC is the priority, most agents are completely cut off. They're not gonna last long without support. Safe area left. 